In a recent community post, I asked how Rec Room could improve their dorm rooms. So today we'll go through some of your answers and I've got some of my own. Number one is new layouts. By far the most requested thing in the comments was new layouts or layouts to choose from. I think we've had the same dorm room layout ever since the beginning of Rec Room. So I think giving people the option for a few different dorm layouts would really make their dorms feel even more personal. Like imagine if after orientation, right, you have a couple dorm room layouts to choose from then regardless of if you decorate or if you change it in any way it's already a bit personal because you've chosen which one that you want not only that but there's been some really creative like dorm room skins that people have made so imagine the possibilities if there were multiple dorm options plus we need to really use that space on top of the dorm room if you know what i mean number two is removable items so there are certain things in the dorm rooms that we don't need anymore mainly the wardrobe or like the the thing with the drawers over beside the mirror i think in earlier rec room days you actually used it to store all your clothes and how you would change outfits and stuff like that but now it's all in the mirror so we kind of don't use it anymore along with the bed desk and steve and the posters and the cork board and everything i mean i understand rec room wants to give off like a dorm room feeling right but it would be cool if we had like a toggle button that we could remove some of these items because there's valuable real estate there you could be using for something else but you can't because there's like a bed in the way or steve or the drawers. Number three is limited settings in your dorm. So a lot of responses from you guys were variations of letting players mess with settings in their dorm. One of the most frequent one, of course, is letting players change the time of day in the dorm. I think everybody just wants nighttime. I know I do <laughs> in the dorm room, but there's also the main one of letting more than four people join in the dorm room. There's been many occasions where I've tried to go back to the dorm and there's like five people who want to join, but I can't cause you know, there's only a limited number of people. So it'd be nice to be able to adjust that. Exotic Fence had a really good suggestion of putting another button on the mirror along with the other ones that lets you mess with these limited settings. You could also imagine putting those those toggles for the items that I talked about earlier within those like settings you can mess with. That would be really cool. Number four is no respawn barrier or at least one you can temporarily disable. I can't tell you how many times I've been adjusting something in my dorm and I fly up too far or down too far and then I get respawned and I have to start the adjustment process all over again. There's also been a situation where I tried to put a dorm skin on my girlfriend's dorm and the pivot point was like way up there so I couldn't like move it and I couldn't get the right camera angle for the arrow. So it would be really nice if we could like toggle the respawn zone, maybe even if we have maker pin in hand, disable the respawn zone or the, the forbidden zone around your dorm. Just do something about the respawn zone. Number five is just a clock. I think it'd be cool to add a digital clock in your dorm room just so that when you look up after working on something for like six hours, you can see how long you have until you have to go to work or school. <laughs> Incidentally, I will be making a video on how to make a clock in your dorm. Check that video out here if it's out. Otherwise, have a good day, everybody. Use my code RCL1. RCL man out. I went the wrong way.